Well, I think the question was what what can can we do and in relation to the cap and trade. The first thing that I would do in Washington is, if cap and trade was to pass, is to rescind it. Uh, cap and trade will be detrimental to this country, especially to Iowa. Uh, there is a proposed increase of $22 billion in food costs if, with cap and trade. Uh, energy prices go up, jobs will go away, our family farms and some of our century farms in this state will go away under cap and trade. Uh, the other thing is, as a legislator, what I could do is I could ensure that the UN, uh, other foreign entities will never charter any treaties that will detriment the United States, be it cap and trade, be it Second Amendment thing. Anything from a foreign country should not have any bearing on our Constitution. And we need people in Washington who are going to fight for that right. Now, as far as energy goes, uh, in my last race, in this race, I still remain all of the above person. I think a lot of us agree. It, we need an all above approach. We are one of the most resource rich countries in the world, so why do we spend time importing from foreign countries what we have right underneath our feet? We need to drill in Alaska, we need to drill offshore, we need to, to get solar going, biodiesel, all of the above, anything that can free us from the bondage of being, being indebted to foreign countries when it comes to energy in this country. We have the ability here, we have the ingenuity, let's get out and do it.